Hey, Metacosis Perfectionalis. Today's topic will be familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia, FHH, a problem in the receptor called the calcium sensing receptor. This calcium sensing receptor is present in the parathyroid glands and the kidney. Again, the name has the answer, familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. Familial, so there is a genetic component. It's an autosomal dominant disease. Due to heterozygous loss of function mutation of the calcium sensing receptor gene, that's a possibility. Another possibility is G protein mutation. Hypocalcuric, hypo, low, calcium in the uric, means urine, low calcium there. Hyper, high calcium in the emia blood or serum. So, genetic disease, low calcium in the urine, high calcium in the blood. The problem is the calcium sensing receptor gene. So, this poor calcium sensing receptor is malfunctioning. It's not doing its job properly. Poor function. To understand the pathology, we have to know the physiology. What's the normal physiology? So, the normal calcium sensing receptor function in the parathyroid gland is. So when you have high serum calcium, i.e. the level of calcium in your blood is high, this receptor will sense the floating calcium in the blood. Calcium is coming, calcium is coming, there is a lot of calcium here. So let's decrease our parathyroid hormone secretion. Why? Because if I increased the PTH secretion, the serum calcium would skyrocket. It will increase. I'll have severe hypercalcemia. So normally, this calcium sensing receptor senses the calcium. Yes, I have excess calcium in the blood. So let us decrease the parathyroid hormone secretion so that the serum calcium level stays normal. That's nice and clear. How about the second organ, the kidney? What's the normal calcium sensing receptor function in the kidney? When the serum calcium is high, the, the, this calcium sensing receptor will sense, yeah, there is a lot of calcium in the blood. Let's decrease calcium reabsorption, okay? Lest hypercalcemia should occur so that serum calcium level stays normal. I.e., whether you're talking about parathyroid or kidney, this receptor regulates the calcium level in the blood. Easy one. Now you know the physiology, let's go to the pathology. In familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia, this receptor is not doing its job properly. It cannot sense the calcium. So, if normally it needs an X amount of calcium to function, now it needs 2X. It is less sensitive to calcium. So, it sees the hypercalcemia as normal calcemia. It needs more calcium to act, which will lead to increase PTH secretion despite the high serum calcium level, which will lead to hypercalcemia. In the kidney, again, poor job. It needs a lot of calcium to sense. So we will have increased calcium reabsorption from the kid in the kidney despite the fact that the serum calcium level is high, which will lead to hypercalcemia because I'm reabsorbing more calcium and hypocalcuria there's less calcium left in the urine since I am 
reabsorbing all of the calcium. So in brief, there is hypercalcemia and hypocalcuria. How to diagnose FHH? First, since there's an F, it's familial, so family history of hypercalcemia. Whenever you see high serum calcium, high level of PTH in the blood, and low phosphate, there are only two possibilities. The most common one is primary hyperparathyroidism. I know, this, these parathyroid glands are working excessively to produce more PTH, primary hyperparathyroidism. Some bad surgeons will go ahead and remove the parathyroid glands, i.e. parathyroidectomy, to relieve the condition. However, there is another disease that can cause the same problem. It's called familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. So, before removing the parathyroid gland, you must rule out familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. Why? Because if you went ahead and removed these glands, the problem is not gonna be resolved. Why? Because the problem here is not in the gland, the problem is in the receptor. The glands are completely normal. The receptor is the one having the problem. So, we have to differentiate between primary hyperparathyroidism and familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. But how to differentiate? Okay, try to guess it. Okay, there is a chance that you will guess it right. There is always a chance, there is no hope. So please pause the video. Okay, how to differentiate between them? The very easy way is to do urine, calcium, pretty easy, huh? In primary hyperpara, there is high calcium in the urine. In familial hypocalcuric, there is low calcium in the urine. Pretty easy. How to confirm the diagnosis of familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia? It's called the sequence analysis of the calcium sensing receptor gene. Treatment. How to treat FHH? Please remember, no parathyroidectomy. The parathyroid glands are normal. The problem is in the receptor called the calcium sensing receptor. If there are no symptoms, no treatment. Uh, but, but, but wait, wait, wait. The serum level of calcium is high. The urine level of calcium is low. Do you have symptoms, sir? No, I don't. I don't care. No treatment. No symptoms, no treatment. These levels in the blood or in the urine will never hurt you, okay? But if there are symptoms, we use calcium mimetic. Drugs such as syncalcid, calcium mimetic. They mimic the action of calcium on the tissue via allosteric activation of the receptor. So the receptor is not sensing calcium properly, okay? due to a genetic problem. Let's give him something that looks like calcium but isn't. And it will respond to it as if it is calcium and start doing its job properly. Calcium mimetics. That's how we treat familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. Now, question of the day. All of these questions are in my Facebook page in an album there. So, today's question. We said that parathyroidectomy contraindicated in familial hyper, hypocalceric hypercalcemia, but there is one rare exception. So, when should you perform parathyroidectomy in FHH? It's very hard, very rare. Let me know in the comment if you got the answer. By the way, hint, the answer is in Harrison's textbook. I'll link it in the description. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Consider liking my Facebook page.
and following me on Twitter. Thank you very much.